So I finally got my hands on the newest Dremel model, the 8260. I've been using it as my main Dremel for a couple of months now, so I think we are ready for an in-depth review. In this video we will talk about the increased power, the increased runtime, the smart functions and how useful they actually are, and everything else you should know about the tool. I will include chapters in the timeline so you can skip to the parts that you are interested in. But leave a like before you do, it really helps out the channel. This video will also act as a review for the Dremel 8250 because the 8250 and the 8260 are basically the same tool with some minor differences. I'm also not sponsored by Dremel, so this will be my honest review. Let's start with a walkthrough of the tool. At the front we have the normal collet nut with a 1 8 inch collet. It also has the easy twist nose cap that you can use as a wrench. The shaft lock button on this tool is black. On other models it is usually blue. When you turn on the tool with the power button, you will not be able to press down the shaft lock button. This is helpful so you don't accidentally press it while the tool is running and you ruin the shaft lock. Next up is the speed control, which you can set from 5000 to 30,000 RPMs by turning this wheel. The RPMs you are currently using will light up at the bottom of the tool. Right now it is at 15, which means it runs at 15,000 revolutions per minute. You can also change the RPMs in the Dremel app if you connect the tool with Bluetooth. At the back we also have the hanger to hang up the tool when using the flex shaft. You also need to remove this sticker, because underneath it there is a sensor light that will light up if you overload the tool with too much pressure or if the tool gets too hot. At the back we have a 3 amp hour 12 volt battery, which is the most powerful battery of any Dremel model. The 8260 also has a brushless motor. In general terms for us as users, this means that it will be more efficient and have a longer runtime. It will increase the power, it will have a longer life expectancy and you don't have to change out the brushes when they get worn out, since it does not have any brushes. But brushless motors are a little bit more expensive. All of the flagship models is about the same size and weight. But the 8260 is a little bit thicker when we compare it to the 8220 and 4250. The 8220 weighs 618 grams, the 8260 weighs 598 grams, and the 4250 weighs a little bit less because it has no battery to carry. One of the big selling points for this tool is that it has a longer run time than the other cordless Dremel models. Dremel claims that the 8260 have 100% more run time compared to the 8220. They tested the tools head to head cutting 6.3mm zinc plated French wood screws. So let's do our own test. A while back I did a battery test on the 8220. I used a tool for rough wood carving with a flex shaft attached and a Cutsole Extreme Flame Burr. It lasted for about 25 minutes of wood carving. Here I have a fully charged battery on the 8260. Let's see if the battery lasts longer than the 8220. After about 9 minutes the battery is down to 2 bars. After 21 minutes the battery is down to 1 bar. After 33 minutes the battery indicator started blinking, which usually means that the tool is about to run out of battery. But to my surprise it didn't. The 8260 just kept running and in the end I even tried to drain the battery by wood carving with even more force. The final time for wood carving on a single charge ended up on 56 minutes of runtime, which is more than double than the Dremel 8220. And I can promise you that I worked this tool just as hard as I did with the 8220. So Dremel did deliver on the 100% extra runtime on this one. At the end my hand was tired and I needed a break. So one battery should be more than enough runtime for most people. And if you get two batteries, you will be able to run this tool with very little downtime, unless you're doing five hour long wood carving sessions. The 8260 is compatible with some of the other Bosch battery packs. If you have any of these battery packs that you see on the screen, you can use them with the Dremel 8260. These are also listed in the manual. The battery packs that the 8220 uses are not compatible with the 8260, but the batteries from the 8240 and 8250 can be used with the 8260. The 8260 is a powerful rotary tool. After using it for some rough work, I have never felt it lacking in any power. Even if I really press it hard into the material, it will just keep running at the same RPM. You can see the difference when I use the 8220. When I press it down into the material, you can hear that the speed is reduced and the motor is struggling or even stopping. This difference is most noticeable at lower RPMs.
but I don't recommend applying this much force when using the tool. This is a good way to break the tool in the long run. One of the big new features of the 8260 is the Bluetooth compatibility and the smart functions. Are these actually useful or just a gimmick? You can connect the 8260 to your phone via the Dremel app. In the app, you can see the battery percentage, the estimated runtime, and the temperature of the battery and the tool. You can also control the RPMs of the tool with the app. If you press get started under speed control, you can choose which material you want to work with. I want to cut a small piece of this stone, so I choose stone. Then I choose cutting and I want to use the diamond wheel. Now you get a recommendation for the RPMs you should use. And then you can just send these RPMs to the tool. And when you start the Dremel, it will start at the RPMs you set in the app. But the thing is, you do not need to have the Dremel 8260 to use this functionality in the app. If you go to the bit finder in the Dremel app, you can choose the material you want to work with and the application you are using it for. You'll get a lot of useful info about the bits that you can use and about the recommended RPMs. Then you can just set the RPMs manually, which I usually do anyway. So my personal opinion is that the Bluetooth connection is okay to have, but you don't really need it. But if the choice is between the 8260 and the 8250 at the same price, I would go for the 8260. So, what is the actual difference between the 8260 and the 8250? I sent a mail to Dremel to clarify this. Here is the answer I got. The only difference between the 8250 and 8260 is the 8260 has Bluetooth capability. Everything else about the tools are the same. Same battery with same runtime, same housing and same internal components. So, they are basically the same tool. But personally, I like the darker design of the 8260 better, with the light at the side but that has nothing to do with the performance of the tool. So is the 8260 worth getting? The 8260 is the best Dremel model I've tried to this date. I would get it if you like the design and the Bluetooth and if it's within your budget. But if the 8260 costs like 20 bucks more than the 8250 where you are, I would just get the 8250. But I cannot find the 8260 on Amazon. I think Dremel has some exclusivity deals with some of the big brand stores. I will link the Amazon link for the 8250 in the comments below. And also I will leave a link to the 8260 on the Dremel website. Can the 8260 8260 use the Dremel attachments. Yes. Do I need to get extra batteries? It can be nice to have two batteries if you use it a lot, but the runtime is pretty good. For most people, one battery is enough. Does it have a default speed? Yes, the tool resets to 15k RPMs after being idle for five minutes. Can I use the 8260 without the app? Yes, it does not have to be connected to the app to work. What is the difference between the 8240 and the 8260? The 8240 does not have a brushless motor. It does not have Bluetooth and the battery has less power. That was everything for today. See you next time.